I bought a couple used Snap-on and Matco toolboxes yesterday, full of tools. Craigslist fine, great deal. But I couldn't figure out how to get the boxes out, the slide trays out. It's an older style slide, they're the non-bearing slides. They have a little locator piece of bainite steel that engages a tab on the inside of the steel drawer itself. So I tried to use a hacksaw blade to get in there and uh, the hole on the hacksaw blade kept getting stuck. Now I could get the slide disengaged but I couldn't get the hacksaw blade back out so I was back to square one. So I took this end of the hacksaw blade, I cut it off short of that hole. Now when I stick it in there it goes behind the bainite and releases it and you keep pushing it in and it climbs up over the tab and when you pull it out now it jumps right off. Now you can pull this out. Here's the locator tab and this is the uh, drawer and it's completely released. You have to make make one for each side or you have to do them each side at a time but now I'll be able to dump them out, clean them up, sand it down, break into rust and have myself a fairly nice snap-on box. Incidentally once I got all the drawers out of this box lo and behold there was quite a few tools that had fallen out of the tops of the boxes and over and behind on both the top chest and the the lower chest and in each one of the boxes I found this little piece of bainite it's probably uh, the original 1980s vintage drawer release and it, it really works well it's a little bit thinner than the hacksaw blade it's probably about three-eighths of an inch and it's got a bend on both ends one to one to hang on to and then the other one to to give you a lot further ramp up to get back in and behind that catch tab on the sides of these boxes so here's how it kind of looks without the slide in place and that's basically the action that you're looking for once you get behind the slide you can probably still buy these from snap-on but it's thin enough and the bent hacksaw blade works almost as well